Snow Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, Think Outside, Ski Do Snowmobiles, Yamaha, Revs Your Heart, and by iPhone Lubricants, exclusively distributed by Parts Canada. Here at Snow Tracks, over the years, we brought you all kinds of cool products from CKX. Obviously, the super popular open face Titan helmet, the full faced Mission, and now we have a new product called the Contact. The Titan is a motocross style helmet with really thoughtful and integrated goggle options that help you look moto but stay warm. The Mission is full face, full feature, full technology with all options included. And now comes the Contact with its minimal styling but packed full of features that are needed. It's everything you need and nothing that you don't. Now the Contact comes in a wide variety of sizes as you'd expect, extra small to 3XL and a little bit more that I'll talk about later. It also comes in multiple different color swatches and designs. No matter which one you pick, they're all kind of minimalist, but at the same time, very thoughtful, sleek and modern looking. But the cool part is, is that no matter which Contact helmet you pick, they all come with the same options. The gloss or matte black, as well as the Edge series of graphics in four different colors, doesn't scream here I am, yet they still look great with any gear that you pair it with, or better yet, any sled. If you want a bit more flash, the Arctic graphics series in four different color designs has brighter, more vibrant graphics that look much more like the Northern Lights and give you a nice option if this is your style. Now the Contact is not a modular helmet, where the front muzzle does not open, However, being thoughtful in design, the CKX designers built in a lower drop down portion to the front shield that opens up the mouth area of the helmet when the shield goes up. It gives you great access and ease to talk to your friends when out riding. Now I know I said that the contact is minimalist, but that does not mean featureless. Nope, this helmet has lots of features, but it has nothing in excess and only the things that you really need. It comes with an electric shield and the plug on the visor has a power indicator, so you know you're getting heat at all times visible from inside the helmet. The front glass is tall and wide with the heat strips not imposing on your broad field of view. The shield opens easily with one hand and gives you an excellent ability to take a drink of water from a bottle or talk with your crew. The interior space also works well for those of you wearing corrective lenses and the built-in amber retractable sun shield helps to cut down on the light when the sun's high and strong. Now, just because a helmet shield is heated doesn't mean that you can completely forget about where your breath goes and CKX knows how to deal with humidity inside of a helmet. A no contact breath guard is built right into the shield so you keep your visibility at all times and keeping your neck warm is also important so you don't get that cold air mixing with your warm breath and fogging. So a tall chin curtain is included and blocks the harsh winter wind. To keep you fitted properly and your helmet on and off quickly, a CKX Pro Clip quick release chin strap helps you get your lid off or on quick and your fingers exposed to the cold less. A removable and washable liner comes standard and CKX also provides you with a protective storage bag so your helmet stays looking great for years to come. Now the contact can be expanded up to 4X and 5X for those of you with more thinking power with the use of a new interior liner. And it also comes with a really nice five year warranty. The helmet does meet or exceed DOT ratings and like all CKX gear, it's designed in Canada, but quite possibly the best part of the contact helmet is the price. So make sure you visit the CKX website or your local Kimpex and CKX dealer to check them out in person. And I think that you're gonna be quite surprised at the value the contact helmet offers. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Hercules Tire. Ride at our strength. This Snow Tracks feature will be covering in detail the introduction of Polaris's first proprietary four stroke snowmobile. Many of our viewers may not realize or may not remember that Polaris did come into the four stroke business back in the mid 00s. 
While the existence of a Polaris four-stroke powered sled is a matter of history, it's probably a memory Polaris would rather forget. The IQ four-stroke and IQ turbo models were built on Polaris IQ platform using a normally aspirated and a turbocharged 750cc even firing Weber four-stroke motor. Interestingly, the engines were respectable performers and mostly reliable. It was other details which made this four-stroke duo notable. Our take from Polaris is this. We think that Polaris has wanted to be back in the four-stroke snowmobile business for some time, but they did not want to re-enter the snowmobile marketplace with anything but a proprietary in-house four-stroke motor. In other words, they wanted their next four-stroke powered sled to have a purpose-built proprietary engine. After all, Polaris does build exceptional four-stroke engines for use in their hugely popular fleet of side-by-sides and ATVs. So we've set the stage for this discussion. Polaris not only has a deep and rich four-stroke engine program, they've produced hundreds of thousands of their ProStar series of double overhead cam twin cylinder engines in both normally aspirated and turbocharged iterations. The ProStar used here is a 1000cc version of the ProStar used in a number of Polaris Ranger and Razor side-by-sides. While Polaris won't specify exactly the output of the new S4 ProStar, we suspect it is likely in the 80 to 100 horsepower range, possibly closer to 90 horsepower. In any case, the ProStar series of double overhead cam engines has a formidable reputation for stout low-end torque and peak horsepower at a strong 8,000 RPM. Peak torque on this variant is right at 7,000 RPM. If those RPM numbers sound familiar, it's because all Polaris side-by-sides and ATVs using the ProStar engine series shift out at between 7,800 and 8,000 RPM. This makes these engines really suitable for snowmobile use. Another interesting feature of the S4 ProStar is the identical location for the primary clutch in relation to the jack shaft. The center of the primary clutch is located exactly where the 650 and 850 Liberty snowmobile engines sit. This is a big deal when shoehorning a relatively large four-stroke into the same space as a considerably smaller two-stroke. Another distinctive, according to Polaris powertrain engineer Matt Reeves, is the use of a dry sump lubrication system. This kind of oiling system gets rid of a large oil pan, allowing the engine to sit much lower in the chassis. This is a far more critical system in a snowmobile than in a side-by-side. -side. Snowmobiles are more sensitive to center of gravity than an ATV or side-by-side -side might be. Dry sump oiling means there is a remote oil reservoir under the hood with its own dipstick. Another carryover from the ProStar series of off-road engines is a 270-450 firing order. This firing order generates a cadence that sounds like a V-twin. But even more importantly, that firing order allows for better cold weather starting. Even though the ProStar S4 engine uses a counterbalancer like the side-by-side -side ATV variants, the counterbalancer design and weight is unique to the S4. We asked Matt Reeves why Polaris opted for a twin cylinder four-stroke power plant rather than a triple. The answer is both simple and complex. Using a twin cylinder design allowed for significantly more efficient underhood packaging. There was no need to cast another bulkhead and develop all new bodywork to hold and cover a triple cylinder engine. The S4 project started way back in 2015. That was when the first Axis chassis was launched. Polaris has enormous resources surrounding the ProStar engine series. Using a twin was mostly a no-brainer from the early days of S4 development. One must also recognize the economies of scale using a ProStar twin cylinder engine platform provides. We think it worth mentioning this reality as well. We would not bet against Polaris hanging a turbocharger and intercooler under the current matrix bodywork, which already contains a ProStar twin. The aforementioned packaging and the use of a twin cylinder engine becomes more relevant when you realize that there's probably going to be a turbocharged version of this ProStar motor in the future, and it will fit handily underneath the current bodywork. The ProStar S4 comes with a tri-mode DBW drive-by-wire throttle actuator. We were very concerned about this before we had a chance to try it out. Thankfully, the system works flawlessly with virtually no throttle lag or lazy throttle pickup. 
At 6,000 feet in sport mode, you would have to know you're using a DBW throttle. It is seamless. The inherent benefit of DBW is the ultralight thumb actuator. Riders with smaller hands will really appreciate this feature. Now there is no downside to DBW. We asked Matt if it was inherently harder on a four-stroke engine pulling around an ATV or a side-by-side -side or a snowmobile. He answered very quickly and said, it is tougher on a four-stroke motor pulling a snowmobile around. He made it clear the higher RPM profile that's always in play and the constant load characteristic of all snowmobiles, which don't coast like wheeled vehicles, works an engine much harder. Therefore, the S4 is built stout and strong to handle this extra stress that four-stroke snowmobiling brings to the motor. Trail Tech is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. There are countless ways to get directions when you're riding off-road these days. We have GPS units that are handheld. We have them in our cars, in the dash of our side-by-sides, ATVs and snowmobiles. We have them in our phones and yes, even in our watches. But the truth about GPS mapping, especially for off-road riders, is that it lives and dies by the actual mapping software and trail databases that are included. And to be honest, in most cases, the trail databases included with most modern GPS units is pretty limited. This was exactly the problem the engineers and software developers at Onyx set out to solve when they started designing the Onyx off-road platform. Their system doesn't just include the most extensive trail database possible, but also an incredible list of features designed to make planning and taking trips infinitely easier. When it comes to trail databases, Onyx Off-Road is the industry leader. It includes both a snow and a dirt mode, which means no matter what season you're riding in, all you need is your Onyx app. They also cover over 600,000 miles of trails all across the US and in major riding zones in Canada, and the trail coverage is increasing every day. The trails themselves are color-coded and include technical ratings and distances, along with other crucial information. Onyx Off-Road is a multi-platform system, which basically means that while you're going to use your phone primarily while you're out and riding, you can do all of the background planning on your computer at home. But this does bring up a point of contention for some people. A traditional GPS does not require any cell coverage to operate, which is why it's generally considered the superior option for remote areas. Onyx identified this limitation of using a cell phone as the base for their system from day one and included the ability to download offline maps directly to your device so they would be available even when cell coverage isn't. Simply download the maps before you head out and they'll be there whenever you need them, no matter what. One major issue with riding off-road these days is knowing where you're actually allowed to ride. Most snowmobile and ATV trails cross a mixture of private and public land. Staying on the trail on private land is of the utmost importance to the future of our sports. Which is why Onyx Off-Road includes nationwide private and public land information right in the app. As you're exploring the trails you either want to ride or are currently riding, you can simply open the Onyx Off-Road app and see exactly where the boundaries of private and public land are so you'll know exactly where you can and can't go. This is especially helpful if you're riding in off-trail areas or exploring on your snow bike or widescape. Aside from getting you where you're going, the prime purpose of any GPS mapping system really is to get you back home. Recording your route allows you to turn around at any point and simply follow the path you took to get you back to where you started. Onyx Off-Road includes this feature when cell coverage is available and even allows you to upload these breadcrumb trails or tracks to share with others so they can follow your same route on their own. In my opinion, the coolest features of Onyx Off-Road are the ones that give you more information or tell you more about the trails and areas that you're riding. These are features that traditional GPS units typically don't have. One of the most interesting and, in reality, helpful that Onyx Off-Road provides is forecasting and weather data. This feature will show you the weather forecast for any trail, including snow tell weather telemetry from remote weather stations. You can toggle different weather overlays and even current avalanche forecasts and slope information to ensure you're never heading in a dangerous direction. If there's one thing I think every off-road rider needs to take very seriously every time they head out, it's being prepared. Now, of course, this includes carrying the right safety and emergency equipment, but it also means having the right information. Onyx Off-Road is a piece of safety gear that will provide you with all the information you could possibly need to get out and back with confidence, all while avoiding restricted land, bad weather, or dangerous snow conditions. 
The Onyx off-road software is available for both Android and iOS devices and is available in the Google Play and the Apple App Store. There's also a browser-based option as well. It's currently available in the US, but will be available in Canada very soon. You can try it for free for seven days. When you see, like I have, how useful and truthfully necessary it is, yearly subscriptions range in price from $29.99 to $99.99, which if you think about it, is pocket change for having the confidence you'll always be able to get home safe. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Arctic Cat Snowmobiles. The regions of Quebec by the sea. Discover our ride ideas. FXR Racing. Maximum versatility for all conditions. And by MBRP Performance Exhaust. Built for the victory lap. This right here is a 2023 Skidoo Freeride 850 Turbo R. This snowmobile is completely different. It's a G5, but it's so much more than bodywork. So don't think that it's just that because it is way more. The 850 Turbo R is now up to 180 horsepower. This thing slaps you in the face like a half-baked salmon and just makes you go, oh my goodness, where did that power come from? This thing is intense under the hood. It is amazing on the hill, and it makes that power all the way up and past 7,000 feet, and it feels flipping strong. Cool things about the bodywork that wrap around this turbo motor. The most cool and the most unique and the most interesting is this side panel right here over the clutch. The side panel is not only a side panel, it is the entire clutch cover as well as clutch guard, and it also works kind of like a CVT on a side-by-side -side, where you have a backer plate and you have a fully enclosed system, allowing the secondary fins to actually pump air in and out of dedicated intakes and exhausts which means your belt is going to be super cool, which means that you're not going to blow it as often. So squeeze that turbo wide open all you want and your belt's gonna have a lot happier life. Moving down to the front end of this sled, this is the 36 inch ski stance on the free ride. And it's really, really functional when you're out in the mountains. I mean, in my opinion, this is coming from me who I've really liked some Polaris handling in the mountains. I think this is the best handling snowmobile in the mountains I have ever ridden. Spending a day on it today, I found the front end to be absolutely flawless. When I get this thing on its side and I turn the handlebars and I get those, those ski tips pointed you know, up into the air and I'm side hilling, this thing tracks, does not panel out and doesn't do the thing where the rear end goes down, the front end goes up and all of a sudden you're stuck. I am really impressed with how this G5 chassis and all the changes that Skidoo's made to it handles. The shocks on this are the new KYBs that have a three position clicker. Now you're gonna say, okay, I've heard about this stuff from other manufacturers, but no, you haven't because these ones are better. The typical three position clicker systems in shocks do only one of your compression settings. They don't do high and low speed. Typically it's just low speed. These ones do high and low speed at the same time. So your wide range of say zero to 22 clicks of compression, both high and low speed, you've got your first setting, which is gonna be down on the bottom end. You've got your middle setting, which is gonna be in the middle. And then you've got your high setting, which is gonna be way over on the full compression side for those big drops and big hits that you wanna do. So that's pretty cool. Those shocks are also carried out into the rear skid and they work really well, but it's just the next level of technology that Skidoo is bringing to the sled. The Trail G5s are very similar. The Mountain G5s are very different. It comes down to all kinds of cool things. Number one, let's start from the front. The new drive shaft for this snowmobile comes out of the lower chain case without having to drop the, the lower gear on the chain case, split the chain case, deal with all that oil or do any of those things. So if you wanna make a track change on your new G5, it's super easy. Let's move back. The front torque arm, it's longer on this snowmobile. The geometry has changed. There's all kinds of things in here that I can tell you about with millimeters and inches and where they put it. At the end of the day, what does it do? It makes this thing ride way better. It's got the shorty tunnel on it because it's a free ride and the little snow flat back here. But when it comes to the track, Skidoo was able to drop three pounds of weight out of the rear suspension. And you're gonna say, oh, three pounds, that's not that much. Consider this, the track on this, which is 16 inches wide, is also full width lugs. 
The previous version of these tracks didn't have full width lugs. The lugs kind of were a little bit shorter on the edge of the track, so you didn't get as much grip as you would have with a full width lug. So they added more rubber, and yet they were still able to drop that three pounds. I am blown away the way that it works. It is impressive. Now on top of that, you got things like the new running boards, which I guess you call them running boards. There's almost nothing there, but they're strong. They clear out snow. They give you lots of room. Your feet can move around, but they grip like crazy because they got all kinds of sharp edges on them. One of the other obvious changes to this Skidoo snowmobile is the new screen built into the dash. Now, you may say, I don't want technology on my snowmobile. Skidoo gives you that option. You don't have to have it. It comes with a basic gauge package unless you want to spec the 10 and a quarter inch screen out. 10 and a quarter inch screen works so much better than the previous one. It doesn't have any controls down on your knees or anything like that. It's touchscreen, it's waterproof, it connects to your cell phone super fast. It will Wi-Fi update in your garage when you bring it back home. It does all kinds of wonderful and fun things. There's lots to love about that. Skidoo has always been innovators. They have cool features on their snowmobiles that nobody else does. Things like shot, where you don't need a battery, but you get electric start. What I'm experiencing from the new G5 snowmobiles from Skidoo is that they are taking their product that's already really good and they're refining things, but they're refining small things that other people sometimes overlook. So now they're able to really target in on those small pieces, those small technologies, little things, but they're little things that truly elevate the ride.